and welcome to Penguins TV. This is the wrap-up show, as you can probably tell by my demeanor. We won. Uh, I'm speaking into the microphone here because we're still live streaming and also talking to the to the YouTube equipment here. So let's get into it. It's a 5-2 Penguins win today. And even though we got outplayed at times, overall, it's a good story. Let's start with team stats because that's where I like to go. Uh, shots were 30-24 to 24 for, the, for the Devils. Uh, they mostly controlled play in the second. That's where most of that came from. They outshot us quite handily in the second. Even though they controlled play and they outshot us in the second, I never felt like we were in danger of losing this game. Uh, it was a long stretch of play where I didn't feel like our pushback was strong enough, but I never felt like we were close to breaking. So that's a positive. Uh, hits were 12-7 for the Devils. Uh, Face-offs, one were 30-27 to for the Devils. Uh, power play opportunities, the Devils were 0 for 2, so that's excellent. We killed both penalties, and we were 1 for 1 on our power play with uh, Jake Gensel getting a goal from McCann and Rust. McCann continues to be the straw that stirs that power play drink. It's going to be interesting when Malkin comes back. Will Malkin end up on the second power play? You don't want to take McCann off. Uh, it's been a wonderful development. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, only 6 minutes in penalties the whole game. Block shots were 17 all. Takeaways were 5 all. Giveaways, 12-6 for the Devils, okay? Now, let's get into some scoring. Uh, in the first period, we opened the scoring not long into the game. It was Colton Sevier, his fourth of the year. Assisted by, fantastic news, everybody, Teddy Bluger is back. He played on the fourth line tonight, which means Mark Jankowski got scratched and not Frederick Godreau at third line center. This is my way of thinking. I like this. We're going to have some wonderfully difficult decisions to make as our team gets healthy here. Who are you going to scratch? Are you going to scratch Goudreau? Or are you going to scratch Zahorna? Or are you going to scratch Sevier? Or are you going to scratch uh, Lafferty? Who's it going to be when all these guys come back? But the great news is Teddy Bluger's coming back. The team looks like they got a lift from him. He played very well. I was very pleased with Teddy's performance tonight. He looks great. So Colton Sevier's fourth of the year from Teddy Bluger, 12th assist, and Marcus Pedersen, his fifth assist. Then Teddy Sevier scored again, or Teddy Sevier. Colton Sevier scored again his fifth of the year, this time from Matheson, his eighth assist, and Cody Cece's ninth assist. That made it 2 nothing. Now, with 2.44 left in the period, we were the better team in the first. Uh, Miles Wood scored for the Devils. Bit of a letdown. We end the first up 2-1. to one. We start the second. And Brian, or Brian Russ scored his 17th a year for, our, for us. A great shot with a screen. Uh, Latang's 28th assist and Dumoulin's 7th assist. That made it 3-1 at the end of two. Things are going our way. Despite the fact that they carried play in the second, despite the fact that they outshot us, outshot us quite handily in the second, uh, I was pleased with where things were. I felt we'd bring our best in the third, and that is what happened. Uh, in the third, Jake Gensel scored his 18th on the power play. Uh, that was from Jared McCann, his 10th assist and Brian Russ, 16th assist. Then P.K. Subban scored on a wonderful individual effort, and uh, it was goal reviewed. It was called no goal on the ice. They went upstairs, and they overturned it. So it ended up being a big goal for the Devils, made it 4-2. But then Jake Gensel scored on an empty net, his 19th of the year on Sidney Crosby, setting him up on the empty net, his 32nd assist, and Mike Matheson's 9th assist. So we have a 5-2 win. Uh, Tristan Jari stopped 28 of 30 shots. He was very good. Uh, very pleased overall with the team defense. I was very pleased with the way the forwards play. The only thing I could complain about was in the second period, we didn't seem to be able to push back to the point where the Devils were, and we certainly can. We can outplay this team, but it's okay. We got the win. Not every game is going to be perfect. The fact that we're beating these guys two in a row now after having lost two out of three uh, is very encouraging. So we're now up. 3-2 in the season series, and we play them three games at home in Pittsburgh next week. I expect to win three, if not two of those games. Hopefully that's the case. Later this week on Thursday, we're going to be at home to Philadelphia, I believe, uh, or on the road in Philadelphia. I can't remember. We're playing Philadelphia and Buffalo twice. Uh, I think it's Thursday, Saturday, and Monday. So I'll be here for all those Penguins games as I always am. Tomorrow is the trade deadline day. Now I'm planning on coming on here for a little while to do a trade deadline show. I haven't decided yet what time it'll be yet. It could be 11 Eastern. It could be 4 Eastern. It could be in the evening. But I suspect you'll see me on here tomorrow with a deadline show. And then, of course, back here Thursday night for more Penguins hockey when we play those, those uh, uh, terrible uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Some more stuff I want to cover. Um, now that Evgeny Malkin is skating, they're not going to rush him back till he's 100%. So I would expect he's a good two to three weeks away is what I expect. 
Brandon Tanev is on the IR. He is not skating. Um, and Kasperi Kapanen is on the IR, and he's not skating. Mark Friedman is skating and making progress. Tomorrow's the, the deadline. Do we expect to make a trade? I assume we'll tinker in some way, but I have no idea what it'll be. The guy I wanted, which we weren't going to get, was Nick Foligno, and he went to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Good on them. They needed him more than we did. Nice move for them. Will we make a move? I suspect so. I think we'll be some grit and toughness up front. But I don't know for sure. Uh, I would like to have another backup goalie, but I don't know how realistic that is as well. Not to replace the Smith, but to play compliment them if something happens. But right now it's Maxime Legacy in the minors. Um, so the team played well. Uh, expect us to keep going this way. A nice three-day break coming up here. I like where the team is at. We've won three straight now after two bad ones. So things are heading in the right direction. Unfortunately, the Islanders also won tonight. So the Islanders stay two points ahead of us, and the Capitals stay four points ahead of us, but they did beat the Bruins, so uh, that's good news. The Bruins don't gain ground on us, uh, so the Capitals did good there, crushing the Bruins tonight. But I thought the Rangers were going to take out the Islanders for us. They lost in OT. So let's get into some ice time and coverages that way. Zach Aston reese uh, played 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, he had one shot on goal. Teddy Bluger played 13.44. And he had uh, one assist, and he was plus one with one shot. Sidney Crosby had an assist, was plus one, and had three shots. He played 21-42. Frederick Goudreau uh, played 10-31 in our third-line center. So our fourth-line center played more than our third-line center. Jake Gensel had two goals. He had a plus one and four shots, and he had 20-41 in ice time. Sam Lafferty, playing right wing on the third line, had one shot and had 11.56 in ice time. Jared McCann, who continues to impress on the power play and everywhere, really, had one assist, two shots, and only 14-14 in ice. He doesn't seem to take much time to produce, but he does it every night. Evan Rodriguez had 14-41 in ice time. Uh, Brian Rust had a goal, an assist, was plus one, had one shot, and had 21-01 in ice time. Uh, Colton Sevier, two goals, plus one, three shots, 12-36 in ice time. Radim Zahorna, usually around the eight-minute mark, played 7.56 with plus one. And Jason Zucker had played 13.27. So as far as ice time goes here, Sid at 21.42 is a little higher than I want him. I wish they'd pull him back down to about 19.20, but I get it. Uh, now let's get into the defense, which this should be interesting. Cody Cece, 19.13 time on ice, one assist, plus one. Brian Dumoulin, one assist, plus one, two shots. 21-30. Chris Letang, 21-24. Fantastic. He played almost 25 minutes last game. This is much better. He had two shots and he had one assist. John Marino uh, had one shot with 20-27 in ice time. Mike Matheson, 17-12 in ice time with two assists, plus two and three shots. And Marcus Pedersen, surprisingly, played more than uh, than Matheson tonight. 18-15 in ice. He did play better. I didn't notice him. Uh, he had one assist as well. So um, ice time was good everywhere, uh, really. Uh, nothing to complain about. Will we make a move tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, I know our team's playing well, and we are playing against Philly, Buffalo, Buffalo, and then three straight at home to the Devils. So I'd really like to win five of these next six games at a bare minimum four. Uh, but these teams are playing hard. It's like the playoffs for the Rangers and Philly and and Devils. They're not taking nights off. They're playing very hard in a shortened schedule. Uh, I had a great time on the stream tonight. A bunch of the regulars were in there. If you haven't seen my new logo on YouTube and on um, Twitch, uh, one of the guys in the channel, Dutchie, designed it, and uh, it's really fun. I like it. New logo for Twitch and for YouTube. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Stay safe out there. Tune in tomorrow if I do a, uh, a trade deadline show. Uh, take care of yourself. And I'll be back Thursday night for more Penguins hockey. Will I be back with Padres before that? Maybe. Will I be back with a trade deadline show tomorrow? Probably. Hope everybody has a great night. Go Penguins. And we'll see you all soon.